Prophet Lehi pled with his rebellious sons, saying, Arise from the dust, my sons, and be men. By age, Laman and Lemuel were men, but in terms of character and spiritual maturity, they were still as children. They murmured and complained if asked to do anything hard. They didn't accept anyone's authority to correct them. They didn't value spiritual things. They easily resorted to violence, and they were good at playing the victim. We see some of the same attitudes today. Some act as if man's highest goal should be his own pleasure. We who hold the priesthood of God cannot afford to drift. We have work to do. We must arise from the dust of self-indulgence and be men. It's a wonderful aspiration for a boy to become a man, strong and capable, someone who can build and create things, run things, someone who makes a difference in the world. It's a wonderful aspiration for those of us who are older to make the vision of true manhood a reality in our lives and be models for those who look to us for an example. True manhood is not always measured by the fruits of one's labors, but by the labors themselves, by one's striving. Though he will make some sacrifices and deny himself some pleasures in the course of honoring his commitments, the true man leads a rewarding life. He gives much, but he receives more, and he lives content in the approval of his Heavenly Father. The life of true manhood is the good life. Most importantly, when we consider the admonition to be men, we must think of Jesus Christ. When Pilate brought Jesus forth wearing a crown of thorns, he declared, Behold the man. Pilate may not have fully understood the significance of his own words, but the Lord indeed stood before the people then, as he stands today, the highest ideal of manhood. Behold the man. The Lord asked His disciples what manner of men they should be, and then answered, Verily I say unto you, even as I am. That is our ultimate quest. What did He do that we can emulate as men? Jesus rejected temptation, and as the Savior we may draw strength from the scriptures to resist temptation. The Savior was obedient. He forsook completely the natural man and yielded His will to the Father. Jesus went about doing good. He employed the divine powers of the holy priesthood to bless those in need. The Savior was fearless in opposing evil and error. Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. He called upon all to repent and be forgiven. So might we stand firm in defending sacred things and in raising the warning voice. He gave His life to redeem mankind. Surely we can accept responsibility for those He entrusts to our care. As His fellow servants, we may become great in His kingdom through love and service. Brethren, let us be men, even as He is. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.